पुराने गाने पुराने दोस्त घर की यादें और इलायची चाय उबलते पानी में इलायची चाय की पत्ती और चीनी डालें कुछ देर गैस पे उबलने दें इलायची चाय तभी अच्छी बनेगी जब आप यूज करेंगे रेनबो इवेपोरेटेड मिल्क जो बना है ताजे दूध से इसका रिच और क्रीमी टेस्ट चाय में जान डाल दे इतना सिंपल घर की याद दिला दी रेनबो इवेपोरेटेड मिल्क चाय का परफेक्ट मैच रेनबो टॉप गन सीजन थ्री Hello and welcome to Rainbow Top Gun Season 3. I'm your host Shane Phillips. And if you thought language was an impediment to doing business anywhere in the world, this episode is going to change your views. We'll be meeting Bridge Bala, the man behind Radio Asia Network. presented by Nokia inspired by Cadillac Most of us here have never been to the office and studios of a radio station while you're enjoying the music on your sets or in your car a whole team of professionals are putting their time and a whole lot of effort to bring you what you want 3536 is the number where you could text me ki kaun sa gana aapko sunna hai ya fir koi dedicate karna hai gana special wala to wo let me know well i'm sanchari and this is suno 1024 Bridge Belasar, Top Guns, Lake Swagatham. Nanni, namaskaram. So welcome to Top Guns. Thank you. To have you here. So. Thank you so much <laughs> to have me. So how did you get into radio to start with? I mean, you started a radio station from scratch. Was that a passionate thing that you had to get into it, or was it a bit of opportunity knocks? I think it was both. Uh, I actually had uh, absolutely no idea. how are we going to get in and what we're going to do and there was an opportunity to knock in on a door and uh, we got into this radio station it was already on air and well, what, uh, what do you mean it was knocking on your door i mean where were you working obviously i'm assuming you're working somewhere here in yeah Europe. in fact i was uh, working with richard corum and uh, we had worked for some events together and, uh, and then this opportunity came our way we met the owner of the company who used to run a 5 hour radio station in Malayalam uh, from uh, Rasul Khema so you ended up working for Dolphin Recording Studios yes we did uh, we started working for Dolphin Recording Studio we set up the company uh, we hired more people uh, to the station and then uh, we rebranded uh, the radio station it was called Rasul Khema Radio we rebranded the radio station and called Radio Asia this happened in 1994 what we did then was that we increased the time from 5 hours to 24 hours and we made it a south indian language malayalam on a am band which means that it has a much larger footprint it goes to all the gcc countries and that was what we wanted we wanted to go all over the place because Malayalam speaking people in the region are close to 3 million so we thought it would be appropriate to actually go and cater to the entire population of Malayalam in this region and we used to have a lot of element of news and also entertainment so when did you come to dubai what prompted you maybe you can tell us a little bit about that first step actually i passed my college in 1980 in india and i came to dubai in 1980 i worked for a construction company in which company in pan gulf construction company and and then after pan gulf after two after years pan ago. gulf i was uh, very lucky um, i was uh, giving a few interviews and uh, 
one of the interviews was with a company called Philip Morris. Um, and uh, I started my job uh, in Philip Morris for 2nd of January, 1983. I worked there till 92. Almost 10 years. Yeah, almost 10 years. And uh, 1992, I joined Talent Brokers. That's when we started doing events. And then, of, of course, this opportunity came in and uh, we finalized this uh, contract with the owner who used to own this radio station. Uh, we ran together for about two years. But once we started the radio station, my entire time was on the radio station. Not to forget, I had absolutely no experience in setting up radio stations. You have no radio experience. You don't speak Malayalam. You know, were these, this must have been a massive challenge. I think challenge is an understatement. Uh, when we got to know that this is a Malayalam station, our first reaction was, forget it. But then we understood the dynamics of this business. Now I thought uh, the Malayalam business and a radio station and the number of people, and we thought it was a huge potential, and if we make it a 24-hour station, I'm sure that we'll earn good money. The challenge was Malayalam language. Now, I don't understand the language, Richard Coram doesn't understand the language. Owners don't understand the language. But I think the important thing was that the people we had with us who were working earlier in the same station, we retained these people. We had full faith in them, very, very transparent people. And I think that is the key to success. Even today, we are now in 2014, I have the same people. The same from 20 the years ago? same people. Wow. A very few people have changed. In fact, new people have come in. But the old people who were with me, with us, were the same. So I think language was a problem, but not a barrier. Super 94.7 FM, you are a very earnest young man came to see us uh, with this proposal to start an Indian language station, radio station, which would have been, I think, the first in the Gulf. Uh, what was interesting was that this was a Punjabi gentleman who was very keen to start a Malayalam station. We did start it, and this gentleman by the name of Bridge Palla created the Radio Asia network. So from seven hours of programming on medium wave, we are today a three-station, 24 by 7 network with Hindi and Malayalam, and probably we're known as the pioneers of Malayalam programming radio broadcasting in the Gulf. I hope that we can together do many more things and grow the network and take it to even greater heights than what we have achieved in the last two decades. 6020 is SMS number. My career started off as a radio uh, programming, RJ, then a producer, then he took me in sales and marketing, and then later on I moved to Super FM program head. So all these uh, departments, I got an opportunity, gave me an opportunity to work with. So this uh, makes uh, me feel comfortable and confident. So I have been with him for the last 18 to 20 years, and uh, that is uh, actually, uh, he is a part of a Malayalam community, I should say that. If our listeners are very happy, and uh, very content, um, and our staff is actually very happy and content. That is what success means to me. And uh, I think this time in, in, our, in our success story in, uh, in Suno, I think luck played a very important role. Presented by Nokia, inspired by Cadillac.